Hey friends, today we're in Psalm 63, and, and David in this psalm finds himself in a wilderness. And I want to talk to us why we need the wilderness. Um, in verse 1, it says, O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So as these things stripped away, David is realizing his, his need for him. And so he says, I look upon you in the sanctuary. I'm remembering your presence. I'm beholding your power and your glory. And here's, here's, here's this, a huge statement, a big statement. And this is why we need the wilderness, because we need to get to the place where we can say this, not just with our head, but with our heart. Because your steadfast love is better than life. Because your steadfast love is better than than life. Why do we need the wilderness? Because we get into this place, I know I do, where we, we value what God has given us and we value his gifts more than the giver. Um, I, I'm tempted all the time to, to look at what he's provided for me and, and, and fall in love with that more than I fall in love with him. And, and the stuff that he's given us is, is good and it's great and it's worthy of praise. In fact, David in the Psalms is continually thanking God for what he's given him and what he has done. And so to thank God for that, to appreciate that, to love that is a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but there's a better thing, and it's, it's God himself. And, and we need the wilderness so that we can get to that place where we say the steadfast love of the Lord is better than life. So here's my hope for us in this season. Here's my hope for myself, and I hope, I hope we don't waste this season. Uh, God takes us in the wilderness, not because he doesn't love us, because he, but he wants to show us something better. It's like a great treasure hunt. He's like, leave that stuff behind because I want to show you something better. And what he'll lead us to is himself. Where as we press into him, where we thirst for him, where we behold him, we'll find something better, better than what we had before. And, and I believe that's what he would want to do in this wilderness season. So let me just, wilderness season, let me just pray that into us. Father, I just thank you for your goodness. I thank you that you always lead us to still waters. I thank you that you always lead us to green pastures. And I just pray for myself and my brothers and sisters that in this wilderness season, that we would come to a place where we thirst for you, that where we seek you, and that we're able to say, not just with our head, but with our heart, that the steadfast love of the Lord is better than life. Amen.